José Bové, My name is José Bové. I was a farmer for 33 years. And because I destroyed GMOs, uh, I became a European deputy. My intervention, I'll try to be brief. It'll be based on something simple and on things that haven't been said, uh, been told yet. The GMO development is parallel to the development of globalization of, mar of markets at an international level. We have to re recall then the GATT uh, laws in '86 and till '94. Uh, WHO was born uh, and put on the market, and Monsanto who was a beneficiary of the the whole uh, set of rules. Uh, you know, there is a very clear link between globalization and GMO. That's the first thing. Wh on what is uh, based this link? On the fact that people know, we haven't heard this word yet, it is what it called uh, the equivalence in substance, which means to say that a GMO can be authorized it needs to look like a plant of the same type. Um, a GMO a corn needs to look like a corn. It needs to be yellow. It needs to have grains and, and, and to be similar in its shape to a conventional classic uh, corn. And then it's, it is accepted. This is the basis. And it has no scientific proofs or values. And this is how things work in terms of pseudo-scientific facts uh, that uh, GMOs are being authorized. It is such a debate that four years ago, we managed to impose at a European level a discussion, a debate on the equivalence on substances with the uh, European Health Agency. And we have recognized that there, there is no scientific uh, proof about this. WHO or uh, free trade agreements say that the rule for, for such products have to be scientifically based. From that point on, then the, the, the rule does, doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't count. It's just not uh, following. Uh, the regulation. The second thing that I'd like to uh, tackle the EFSA when whenever it, it, it they analyze a new uh, GMO, and it's been said a while ago. Uh, a lot of the time, um, panels are suffering from conflicts of interests. But even if there were no conflicts of interest. The basic elements to analyze a new GMO are given by uh, companies itself. So, which means the databases that are used to analyze produces are uh, Monsanto's uh, data. And we, dis we it took us years before discovering this. And when we were looking at the names uh, uh, of, of all these sci scientists that were working on that, we just realized they were working for Monsanto themselves. And they were just setting the rules. So when they, whenever they wanted to offer a new JMO, it was done before, uh, uh, after uh, Monsanto's analysis, which sounds totally amazing, is astonishing, but that's the way it worked. And it hasn't changed, changed yet. Another uh, point that has not been raised yet, uh, I wanted to raise your attention on not talking of uh, G, uh, uh, conventional GMOs of, from the first generation. Nowadays, uh, new GMOs uh, are being created without exterior genes and an accelerated modifi modification by new technologies that are making plants more resistant and resistant to, pes uh, to per pesticides. And in most of the country, notably in Europe, these new technologies are not classified in GMOs. Uh, 
and, and which means there is no uh, specific legislation to uh, take into account uh, these things. It is very difficult to uh, include them in in uh, in the system, and which means that we have uh, rape. Ra uh, rapeseed that have been used, oil, rapeseed oils uh, for, uh, for to feed animals, and we've been using them without knowing for sure that if they had been treated or not, uh, and if they could, if they were actually consuming huge quantities of pesticides. So what I'm saying here is that we're just uh, running away from the main uh, problem here. So these are the uh, basic uh, issues that we have, and the regulation uh, need to be global and should not only talk about transgenesis. Regarding this, I, I, we've seen the fascination for new te technologies. And we're we're nowadays just focusing on 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 old technologies, and we're not paying attention enough to the new ones. And that's that's I think that's why we need to try and own the debate again and try to uh, be part of uh, the conversation. Vandana Shiva has been talked about p the pattern question, and and we need one for seeds, and we need an, acknowledge, an acknowledgement of the right to seeds for farmers, even though, uh, even if the GMO would not pose problems for the en environment, the simple fact that they're just imposing their pattern uh, should suffice to mobilize uh, the whole uh, farming sector. Thank you. Um, if it would be helpful to the, to the tribunal, um, I think your point at the beginning with regard to the pattern of GMOs and trade agreements um, going together in parallel uh, was very telling. And we heard this morning from someone who spoke about free trade, and we've been hearing quite a bit about the role of economics um, in pushing many of the problems that we're discussing. Um, could you provide any specific examples um, that would be helpful in understanding this this problem? Yes, I'll give you another example that was uh, raised this morning. Uh, the, the example of the free trade uh, agreement between Europe and Central America. It stipulated the acknowledgments of industrial seed to the detriment of the uh, farming ones. And I'm sure we have already talked about that, but this example is really interesting because the European Union um, imposed to Colombia to change their legislation about seeds to forbid the farming seeds. which led to attacks from the army uh, and to the destru destruction of, of uh, seed stocks, and that's how a lot of farmers uh, perished. The Col Colombian government had to um, did, uh, uh, take this legis new legislation out, but through U the European Union, we, we have seen that uh, very strict rules have been uh, created, uh, and this is how uh, corporations work and how they uh, get to where they need to go. We need to be much stronger, uh, especially within the free trade um, uh, treaty, uh, whether it is with South America or other part of the world. And we have to uh, set a set of rules uh, that is addressing uh, the whole uh, population. I think it is very important to uh, be to mobilize ourselves. Thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you. Thank you.